Hey everyone, this is Captain MKG here. Thank you so much for joining me for another installment of our Let's Play Planet Bay series. We're going to go ahead and start the video right about now. As you can see here, we're just going ahead through the sped up version. As per our usual uh, motif here when it comes to these uh, kind of short update Let's Plays, uh, we are trying to, or I am trying to condense the overall Let's Play time to kind of just, you know, the overall quick updates unless we have a really... Um, you know, meaningful impact to the game. Um, but as you can probably tell from the thumbnail, I think I titled this something like Lakeside Property or trying to finish around the lake or something of that nature. So, um, yeah, once again, we're just trying to, you know, utilize as much of the various areas of land that we can actually build onto and, uh, well, basically just build onto them as much as we can because we still need to get up to the 300 uh, colonist level and hopefully we can do that here in the next couple episodes uh, since you know we're that's the only one left we have to do but in order to do that i do need to go ahead and get real busy and you know reinvest in our infrastructure as much as i can and that also means being able to supply the power making sure everyone has enough places to sleep there's enough food there's enough entertainment there's enough everything and if i can do that then i can get up to 300 easy and then once we're up to 300, then I can go ahead and get uh, the right number of colonists in here. And before you know it, the base is just on auto, just like my other three bases that I've done before. So as you can see here, we are, ooh, actually now that I'm looking at it, we are definitely looking in the bright side. I mean, our food stocks are a little bit low, but that's okay because it looks like we're at least over the, well, there goes the steel, but we're in the, we're definitely in the green when it comes to our steel and bioplast. So, sorry, a little bit of an itchy hand here. Um, or itchy wrist, I would guess. <laughs> but anyways, so we're continuing to spread out. We're definitely getting a lot more. We definitely have a lot of medical, or sorry, medicinal plants that we can go ahead and sell. So that's always a positive. Our cash is looking good. Guns, semiconductors, spare parts. I am loving those numbers. I especially love the fact that it's up in the double digit numbers. So very you know very optimistic outlook here our robot count is also going up i remember we're being in the low 40s but now we're up into the mid 50s here jeez it sounds like i'm giving a weather report when i say that <laughs> although in all honesty it is kind of like a weather report if you really think about it but i don't have time to think i have real estate to go ahead and develop and get everything going and as we can see there, I just went ahead and adjusted these supply numbers a little bit to go ahead and increase our manufacturing because we do have a surplus of various materials. So we want to make sure we use those and not allow them just to sit and collect dust. So once again, it looks like we're just making sure we have our visitors, you know, efficiently getting in and out. And it looks like we're going on a little bit of the low end. Uh, we're trying to again increase power capacity and power generation just because again i don't want power outages i'm so tired of having that happen so let's see here we are definitely getting to the point now where we are producing a lot of medicinal plants so that we can trade those in for um you know the coins that we need and the coins that we need will get us the robots that we need so that way we can reinvest in everything well honestly ourselves so we're down to, I want to say, about the last 40 seconds of the video. So um, looking at the stats here again, our numbers are still up. I saw the spares drop to zero and then shoot way back up to double digits. So again, progress. Uh, it looks like we lost a few colonists, but our robots are going up into the mid 60s here. So we're going to have to go ahead and take into advantage of uh, next time in the next video where we take inventory of the plants and try to reduce our overall starch supply and just make sure we're producing just enough starch but also keeping our variety of food up for everyone and you know hopefully just making it through and getting to our 300 so oh there we go all right so that's the end of the video or at least the the actual let's play video so with that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please let me know. And, you know, the usual blah, blah, blah way that everyone always does. Um, it's always appreciated. But in the meantime, I will catch you, guys, catch you all in the next one. So until then, uh, have a good one.